December 16th, welcome to another advent calendar video. Today we're talking about UI Alert Controller, which is something that you might have seen a million of times, and we're going to have a look at some tips and tricks around that great component that you will not find in the object library. So let's get started by creating a new project, single view application as almost always, and create a new product called Alert. Create that on the desktop, and what we need to do now is to add two buttons. Because we want to have a look at both possibilities of an alert controller, so I'm placing a button right here, which is going to be show alert, and another one below, which is show action sheet. And you probably have noticed that if you want to create an alert controller, then you have two possibilities or two types that are available. If you haven't noticed, it doesn't matter. We are going to have a look at that right now. So let's start off with the show alert. We're creating an IB action for that by pressing control on the keyboard, having the assistant editor open and dragging show alert to our view controller class, selecting action as connection, and then we can go back, or actually let's also create the second action. Um, also bring up the assistant editor, press control on the keyboard, and drag to our view controller and name it show action sheet, and select action connect, and now we're pretty much done. And to create an alert controller, all we need to do is create an object, let me call it alert, and use UI alert controller to initialize it. And we're using this third initializer, giving it a title, a message, and a preferred style. And the preferred style is the interesting part. So let's say we have a title um, for registration, and we say enter your name. Very simple. And now we have a preferred style and we have two options here. Either we use an action sheet, which pops up from the bottom, or we're using an alert that you have seen millions of times. And what we can do now is add multiple items to an alert view. And actually it's an alert controller and previous to iOS 7 it was called alert view. Maybe you still call it alert view. Let me know it in the comments below and we're Maybe also call it alert view. But what we want to do now is, for example, add an action. And as you can see, you can do two things here. You can add an action and you can add a text field. We're going to start with our action and we can directly add this action by initializing it right here in this function call. So I'm using UI alert action, initialize it here. And again, we can use a title, which let's say is OK. And we have now different styles for this button. We have cancel, default, and destructive, which will turn the button color to red, for example. And we're selecting default, and here we have a closure, which is great because here we can directly add the code for our alert controller and for our alert action that is triggered as soon as we tap on the OK button. So let's maybe add an action here as a parameter. And we simply pre print something like OK pressed. And if we now run this in the simulator, just make sure that you've set all the parentheses here. One was missing. Then we run this in the iPhone 7 simulator. And let's have a look what happens. So this is our great project. I press show alert and nothing happens. So why is that? Actually, it is because an alert controller is pretty much the same as a view controller. So what we have to do to work with it is to use self and present from within a view controller. So we are presenting the alert as if it was a view controller. We can set animated to true and we could even define a completion handler here. Let's run this again. And now we should definitely see something when we press show alert. And here we are, we have our title, registration, we have our message, enter your name, and we can press OK. And if we do that, we get the message OK pressed in the console. So we 
said that you should enter a name, but therefore we should also have a text field. And this is pretty great because we can simply use our alert again and add a text field. And there we have a configuration handler, which is also pretty cool. So we add a parameter here, which is text field. And then we can use that text field and for example, define a placeholder text of your name. And to get access to that text field, all we need to do is maybe in our alert action, in our first alert action, we can get a list of arrays. So let's create um, a constant list of text fields. And then we can use our alert object and access the text fields property. And this gives us an array of text fields. So we could also, since we only have one text field here, we can also change that name to text field and simply choose the first text field that we have because there is only one. We could also put that around if let statement to be absolutely sure that our text field exists. And we can also make sure that for example, if the text field and its text property is equal to nothing. So if there is an empty th string that we want to print you have to enter something first. And only otherwise, we want to greet someone perhaps and say hello, text field dot text. All right, so with that, we can run this in the simulator again and see if our text field is there. So we show the alert and as you can see, we can enter our name. We can press OK now and the text field disappears and tells us that you have to enter something first. So we press again and we enter a name, let's say Brian here, Brian and hit OK. And then it says, hello, optional Brian. But since we do know that our text field is not empty, we can also force unwrap that here and then the optional around the name is gone. So just to recap the alert controller again, you can simply initialize it with this initializer with a title, a message and a preferred style. We can add as many actions as we want. You can add as many text fields as you want and create a login for example or whatever you actually like. And just to repeat that again, we can use our alert, add an action, UI alert action, give it a title and a style. Let's say we also want it to have a cancel button, then I choose the cancel style. And for a cancel button, and if nothing happens, you can simply add nil here for the handler. And then if you press that particular button, and if you've added all the parentheses, then you can simply press that button and nothing happens. So let's see that again. We press on our show alert, we have cancel and we have okay. We can enter a name or we can just press cancel and nothing happens and that's just what we wanted. So that is the alert view of the alert controller class. And then there is also an action sheet. So let's have a look at the action sheet that works really similar. So let's just call that action sheet and use again a UI alert controller, initialize it with a title, a message and a preferred style. And here we could maybe say something like image source and we could say choose camera or your photo library and then choose the preferred style action sheet. Then we can again use the action sheet and action, UI alert action and give it a title, maybe camera, style, default. We don't add a handler now, just to keep it simple. Don't forget the parentheses. Maybe add two more functions for the photo library and a cancel button, which is going to be style cancel. So I've just copied that and you would add your handler just in the way you did with the alert view as we did that before if you would implement the photo library but uh, don't worry we're going to do the same thing in the next video when we're talking about the UI image picker controller. So let's just have a look at how this looks by using self and present. We want to present our action sheet 
animated, no completion handler. We run this in the simulator and let's have a look. We have our alert project. And if we hit show action sheet, you can see this nice action sheet comes from the bottom. We have the image source as the title, choose camera or photo or your photo library. We can press on either of those buttons and the cancel button has a nice little offset to that. So let's press cancel. And that's both styles that you can give a UI alert controller, either you use an alert view or you use an action sheet, both pretty cool and simple ways to interact with your users. So I hope you find that useful. Thank you for watching and I'll see you tomorrow.